This is Bill Hoffman giving a brief video tutorial of how to use uh, electronic templates in physician documentation. We're going to go through some basic information in terms of how to find the templates, choose your favorite templates, and how to work through the template. So initially you'll pull up your patient list, choose the patient, and this is adding documentation. What will show up is a list of the multiple templates that are available in Sorian. You can go through the list and choose the appropriate documentations you wish to choose. They are in alphabetical order and grouped by specialty. You can go through documentation type, drop down list, pick the appropriate choice. You can also use keywords. hit search and it will bring up the list uh, of potentials under that keyword. What I encourage most people to do is go through the list of templates available and choose those that you wish to have as your favorites to open up that list in, on a daily basis. Uh, for myself I go through general medical. To choose one as your favorite you'll see as you hover over a star will light up you can pick that and add it to your list. And these will be saved under your fit personal favorites. To access your list of personal favorites, click on personal favorite list. And as you use this on a regular basis, this is what will show up first, is your list of uh, templates you prefer to use on a regular daily basis. To open up the template, just click on the box OK and your template will open up. What you'll see when a template initially opens up is some of the areas will have some grayed out information in those. Those are carryovers from your prior day's note. If you wish to use those, those information, click on the box and that area will light up and that will be part of your note. If you wish to choose the change the information that's in there, backspace out, type in the new pa patient's complaint, and you can expand on that as you find appropriate. You can click use these areas here to add in further details, onset prior to arrival, duration, onset, sudden, timing acute, if you choose not to click on one of those and decide you don't want to use that, just click on it again and it no longer becomes part of the note. Each note is a typical SOAP note, subjective, review of systems, examination, and as you go through each one you'll uh, be able to determine what's appropriate for your patient. If the patient had chest pain during the night but has no other complaints, all their systems are negative except the note in the HPI. If you've got a demented patient, click not obtained and reason, mental status altered, demented. Or if you w wish to further expand the list, click on as listed and it'll break it down into each of the systems to be reviewed. Similar with regards to these, click on what's appropriate for that patient's review of systems for that day. Next is general physical examination, general appearance. You can type in whatever you would like or choose the drop down boxes. Distressed will ask you to define it further into mild, moderate, frail appearing. You choose what is appropriate for the patient. If they're unresponsive, again, click on the appropriate box. Next is their vital signs. Vital signs will carry over automatically into the note to be visible if you wish to add them into your note. I reviewed and agree with the vital signs. Click on this box and it will put in the date and time. The reason for clicking on the date and time is if you should amend the note later, it will notify that those vital signs were at the time of the initial evaluation. If you put in, want to put in your own vital signs, you would check personally. Again, click on the box and fill in appropriately what you have determined. Next will be physical examination. Again, 
similar in terms of templates. You pick what is appropriate for the patient. EOMI, no, jet, no neck vein distension, no bruies. Clear. If you wish to elaborate further, you can either type in the box next to this or as listed, it'll open up further uh, choices. No evidence of labor breathing, diminished, it'll ask you diminished in location, etc. Each physical finding has its own choice. If you do not want to use as listed you, from the previous day, click on it again and pick your next choice. Again, the box is on the side, you can type in whatever, and these are also the areas when we go to dictation, you'll be able to dictate in specific findings that you choose. Laboratory studies will cross over automatically as well and be viewable in your note. If you wish to make sure they're included in the note and that you've documented, you reviewed that at a specific time, again, click on the box. EKG, you'll see EKG results. Echocardiogram results will be filled in this area here. If the patient's on a telemetry monitor and you wish to record what's going on, you can put AF controlled. And again, similarly, you'll be able to dictate in there if there are any Thing you need to fix, like any other typing methodology, make your corrections. Similar radiology results will populate, and again, if you wish to mark that you reviewed that at a specific time, you just click on the box. Next, we'll see a list of the patient's current medications that are being utilized. If you wish to follow up issues, you can type it in there, as in you know, discontinue antibiotics in 48 hours, whatever you would like to put in that area there. Next, we get into the area of assessment and plan, where you'll put in your patient's diagnosis, present on admission, stable, you can type in details, whether it's chronic, new onset, acute exacerbation of COPD, improving, and again, each diagnosis you can put in there. If you start to type in a diagnosis code, you'll get a drop-down list of various diagnoses. You can pick the one that's appropriate. If it's something that's not in the list, say acute on chronic renal failure, as you type it in, you can free text the problem name. Click on that. Hit OK and it'll drop it in as you wish the diagnosis to be listed. Progressing down the note further, let's see listing for patient code status, partial limited code, do not resuscitate, full code, whether or not the patient has advanced directives or not, if, are they on DVT prophylaxis, and also as you get closer to discharge disposition plan, be Discharge to home, today, tomorrow, reviewed with the patient's family, transfer to another facility, patient left against medical advice, or the patient expired. And if you want to document that you've had discussions with specialists, patient's family, again, care plan discuss with patient family, nurse. If it's consultant, click on consultant. You can put in the name of the consultant, bring up a list and that documents you've had a conversation with the consultant about the patient's care status. When you're completed with the note and happy with it, you have two choices. Save if you wish to add information further. Say it's an observation patient, you want to discharge later in the day and later come back to the note and add in that they had a negative stress test, you can hit save. Or if you're completely finished with the note, click complete. If at some point you decide there's some changes you need to make to that note, you can edit document. And I allow you to go through the document and make changes accordingly. You can also, what I often do, we'll go to templates here. I will choose a general medical free text.
and then we'll type in the appropriate information with regards to changes to the above note, additions as in the patient later in the day who had a rapid response and these were the results and when you're finished with that you complete the note. If you open up a note and you find out mm, I'm really not ready for this, I want to discard the note or I put in something wrong, click discard and the note will come up as a discarded note. If there are any questions about any use of templates, please feel free to contact me, any of the hospitalists. Uh, we will be able to review this with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis uh, on the floors. Thank you.